Hello guys and welcome again to another edition of Learning with Rich. So in this topic, I'm going to uh, continue my discussion about the Navisworks Manage Clash Detection Tool. Okay, so in this exercise, I'm going to show you uh, selecting objects to clash and adding clearances. And after that, I'm going to run the clash. Okay, so this is actually where Navisworks Excel compared to Revit. Okay, so the ability to drill into only the clashes we want to see, so it would be uh, useful to try and clash the interior model all at once. So the objective of this video is to select the objects that clash that belong with the appropriate test. So we can clash the entire models or select specific objects in those models we want to run the test on. Okay, so make sure you have a mechanical to sprinkler test active. So let's go up to the select tab. So what I'm going to do to start, I'm going to select clash detective. Okay, and then at the moment, I don't have any clash here. Okay, there are no currently clash test defined. So I'm going to select first uh, add test. So let's say I'm going to rename this. I'm going to call this mechanical versus sprinkler. Okay, enter. There you go. So this is now my uh, clash test. So from the select tab, so I'm going to make sure that on my selection A, okay, again, I'm going to use the standard here. So I'm going to select here the mechanical Okay, so this is my mechanical, and then for my selection B, I'm going to select the sprinkler, okay? So it's kind of selection A versus selection B. So for selection A, just make sure mechanical is selected. And for selection B, so just make sure the sprinkler is selected. So mechanical to sprinkler. So we can drill in even further and find the specific items within the mechanical model if you want. But what I want to do for this clash is I want to keep it mechanical to sprinkler. Okay. So no need for me to dig into more uh, specific files. So what I want is all the mechanical versus the sprinkler. Okay. So to me, any interference between mechanical and sprinkler, regardless of the object, I want to see that. Okay, so let's take a look at the dialogue here. So if you're going to take a look at the bottom, so as you can see, we have the surfaces here. Okay, so we need to have services on. So these are the services that we are going to use. So the services, I have, I already discussed this in my previous um, video. Okay, so we need to have services turned on or you're going to have a zero clash if you're not going to turn on one of these uh, tools here. By the way, the tools that we have here at the selection A, it's a duplicate of the selection B. Okay, All right. So you see, they are just the same, just like what I have uh, previously mentioned in my previous uh, video. Okay, so we have your surfaces, lines. We don't need to test on that, okay? So I'm not going to uh, turn on here the lines. We generally have our lines turned off away, all right? So if you're only clashing 2D CAD files, then you're going to need lines for that. And then for points, this is more for uh, point cloud data. So if you were clashing a point cloud, so you'd have that turned on. Okay, so I'm not going to do that. So I'll just turn on here the surfaces, surfaces, and this one, so intersect, like what I have said uh, previously. So I generally keep this turned off and run it on its own, okay? But since in our rules, we have items in the same file, uh, basically this will become uh, obsolete. So use current selection. So what does uh, use current selection? We could actually select something in the model, okay? You can select elements in our model here and run the test only on that item, okay? Or we can click this button first, okay, to select something in the scene. So notice that, again, so they are duplicate of our side B here, okay? So for the settings, <clears throat> Let's set our clash setting to clearance. 
So I'm going to use here uh, clearance. And I'd like to set the tolerance of, let's say, what's the conversion of? So let's say I'm just going to use here uh, 60 mm. So let's say, for example, uh, 60 mm. So that is the tolerance that I want for my settings. And I am not going to use the link option here. Okay, I'm not going to use that. So I just set it to none. Or let's say I'm just going to make this something like 2 inches. Like, for example, it's about 51 mm. Okay, so that will be my uh, tolerance. Okay, right. Then after that, once we have these settings here, okay, so you can now uh, select here run test. So this is basically how you select the elements that you want to test the clash. And then after that, you just need to run. Okay, so you just need to run that. So after that, what will happen is, okay, so finally, the results are in. So how many clashes I have? So I have 127. Okay, so I have 127 clashes. So these are the clashes that I have here. Okay, right? So I'm just going to adjust this portion here so I can see some of the options that we can have here. By the way, you can also right click some of the tabs here. And then you can sort it, okay? You can select choose columns. You can reset columns, okay? So from your results tab, you can also group, okay? You can create a new empty clash group. And you can also group selected clashes. And then you are able to assign also the particular clash to your another team, okay? Or another team member. And then you can also put comment, okay? So, that's the case now. So, we have 127. So, over to the right, okay, you can see the display settings here. Actually, you can hide that. If you, if you click this one, you will notice it will hide. And then you can also see some of the options here, right? So, you can see the distance. Okay, you can see here the distance. Okay. So, let's say, for example, I'm going to click the clash tool here. So it's now highlighted. Notice that you can also use your navigation bar here. So let's say I'm going to select the orbit. So I'm going to orbit this one so I can take a look into my clash here. See, there's a clash on my mechanical things here. And then the pipe. So if I'm going to expand the display settings, I can, before that, I'm going to select the view tab. Let me just go ahead and uh, change the background. So I click this, uh, just change it to white so I can see it clearly. All right, okay. Right, so you can deem the other, isolate the clashing items by deeming the other items, which is currently the settings. So as you can see, the other elements are dim. Hide other, it will hide your other elements. It will only show you the clash here, okay? You can go to the home tab, you can select the select tool here. And then you can click this one. And then you can check the property. What is that? All right. So it is a pipe. So if I click this, so that is a duct. Okay. So you can hide the other elements. So you can deem other. Okay. Now, auto update. Okay. This is auto update. So animate transition. So when you say animate transitions, every time you select the clash here, there's a short animation. See, that's an animation. So if you click. So there's an animation there. So if it is unchecked and then you click a clash, it will just zoom in there straightly, right? Okay. So no animation. So I prefer to have an animation. Okay. All right. Okay. So let's say, for example, I'm going to slide my slider all the way down. So this is my clash 127. Okay, so this is the clash, but I'm going to orbit this one. Okay, and I'm, I'm going to move up. Take a look. Okay, as you can see, there's no 
last year actually, right? Okay, our clearance by the way is 51 mm. So if I'm going to move this, our tolerance is 51 mm. Remember the select here? We have a tolerance of 51 mm. So I'm going to check the distance. So the distance actually it's only 29,337. So if I'm going to check this one, it's not actually a clash, right? So what I'm going to do is here, I can actually approve this one. Okay. Let me just go ahead and where do I change this one? This one, the status. I'm going to click this. Okay, so I'm going to select and then I'm going to select here approve. All right. So I select this one. There you go. So it's approved. So you will notice here on the clash test, I have a clashes 127, but I only now uh, have a new 126 clashes. Okay, so I just solved one clash. You see, there is a one approved clash here. All right. So basically, that's how you. Uh, view your clash result and that's how you change the status and basically in my case here i need to solve what are these 127 clashes okay all right so hopefully uh this video has been helpful to you guys so on my ex next exercise i'm going to show you uh some more tips in resolving and reducing the clashes Okay, so if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, you can just put it in the comment section below. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So once again, don't forget to like my videos and subscribe to my channel. Alright, so thank you for watching. Have a nice day.